Hello everyone! So for today's video, I decided to do a Q&A. Uh, a few days ago, I've asked you over on the community tabs and I've read through all of the comments and selected the frequently asked as well as some interesting questions which I've categorized into three parts. So let's get started. So for the first part, FAQ or frequently asked questions. Name and describe channel name. So my name is Eddie, that's my original name. And the describe channel name. I called this channel Anyongs because initially I wanted this to be about K-pop and EXO unboxings like the channel of Jongin. However, in the long run, I realized that I don't have a lot of money to buy things and unbox things. So in the end, I just uploaded vlogs and a lot of study related videos by keeping this channel name Anyongs. Second question is how old are you? I just turned 18 and I just turned 18 last June 3. Third is are you an only child? I think I get this question a lot because I don't really show other people in my videos especially when I'm at home and usually whenever I film it's quiet but I'm not. I live with my family and I have a brother and a sister. Fourth question is how do you save money for school, K-pop, etc. So I save money, I mean the money that I get from YouTube, from the ads and sponsorships. I usually save those money for um, buying things that, that I want such as K-pop. But I also get allowances from my school. Um, although I've graduated already, my school before was a science high school and we get like stipend every month and I also save, I mean, I also use that money to buy things for school. So also, I don't really spend on a lot of things such as transportation and um, food since whenever I go to school, I bring <laughs> lunch and snacks and I just walk to and from school. So I barely spend anything on that. So for the last question, for the FAQ, and I think this is also the question that I get all the time, why don't you show your face? I don't show my face on my videos because of privacy reasons. I don't like my private life to be um, somehow tampered, is that the right term? And also, the internet is scary, there are a lot of things happening over on the internet and I think it's best to keep my privacy, but I'm not sure. I think some of you know how I look already and have seen my face already since I always attend a lot of EXO events, concerts. I don't show my face because I'm scared, but we're not sure, maybe someday I will show it. <laughs> so for the second part, I'll be talking about fandom. First question is, how long have you been in XOL? I think six years. I started to become an XOL last 2013. However, 2014, I became a fan of a local artist here in the Philippines. And I went back to being an XOL 2015. So yeah, maybe six years. Who is your bias? I have three biases. Chanyo, Baekhyun, and Kai. Um, my first ever bias was Chanyo, then it became Baekhyun, then it became Kai, until I realized that why don't I just bias all of them? Next is Is EXO the only K pop group you stand? Yes, EXO is the only K pop group I stand, although I, I've stand a lot of groups before. In 2015, I think I stand more than 10 groups. Next is, what is your favorite Muni Muni song? If you don't know what Muni Muni is, it's a local indie band. They are known for their Makata pop songs and I've seen them perform in their concert and some of their gigs. Um, my favorite song from them, this is hard since I like all of their songs but Marilag. I also like Bakunawa. Yeah, Bakunawa. Solomon and their new song, Kasama Kaita. They just released it like yesterday. Should go listen to Muni Muni. They're so good. Then I think this is the last question for fandom. 
what are your favorite BL series? If you don't know what a BL series is, it's a boys love series. Technically, it's a it's a LGBT series. But I think the series that I'd watch again and again and again would probably be Theory of Love. But I also like The Untamed. It's a Chinese BL. It's not really a BL. I think it's a BL, but it's really subtle. But it's so good. You should go watch The Untamed. So we're now down to the last part of this video. But this has the most questions. And I think these questions are the questions that I get a lot. And it's about school, ACAD, studying something related to that. So the first question is, what sets did you take? SETS stands for College Entrance Tests, and I took seven exams. Those were UPCAT, USTED, DCAT, UPSET, FEUCAT, FEUTEC exam, and COU exam, and I also took the DOST scholarship exam. Which college are you going to and what course? So I actually stayed away from this question for the past few months and if you're gonna ask me last week I probably answered differently because this school released their results so late <laughs> but okay so which college am I going to I'm gonna be studying at UP Los Baños and my course there is BS Biology if you're gonna ask me last week my answer would probably be FEU and BS Biology as well same course the next question is related to the previous question. Makapasa po ba ang isang average student sa upkat? Yes, definitely. I searched this Twitter user before during my upkat anxiety period. And they said that the only person who has no chances of passing the upkat is the person who did not take the upkat, which makes sense. Yeah, so, this is po. Look at me. <laughs> Next question is, what is your study routine? So, usually I study after class, around 5pm onwards until like, I feel like I'm sleepy. I never do all-nighters. I haven't tried doing it because whenever I feel sleepy, I, I, I'll sleep. Because if I'm sleepy, I won't be able to understand anything I study, so I try my best to sleep even if I haven't finished studying yet. And I usually sleep for like 1 to 3 hours and then wake up at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. to study again. How do you stay productive? So, I actually did a whole video on productivity which I'll be placing on here and on the description box. But if you're gonna ask me now, the only, the only thing that keeps me productive is whenever I watch other people be productive, I watch um, study vlogs and productivity vlogs and those are the things that also make me feel productive. It's what do you do when you feel burnt out from studying? Honestly, I haven't really felt burnt out ever because just like what I've said, I am not a heavy reviewer. I only study when there's an exam, a coming exam, or if I feel like I need to study because I don't understand anything. So, I feel like if this happens to me, I obviously I'm gonna eat food, food that I like. Uh, also, either read fanfics since I like reading fanfics and watch movies. This question is funny, but do you also cram? Yes, I cram all the time. All the time. Um, if you've watched my older videos, older sets videos, you'd know that I studied for DCAT the day before DCAT. I studied for Usted the morning and night before Usted and studied for UPCAT the week before UPCAT. That's like the only time I studied for those exams. Um, and yes, I am a crammer. If you're gonna see me in school, um, the day of finals before like clutch time five minutes before the start of exam I you'd still see me reading my reviewer so yes I do cram all the time I think that's not a good habit but I graduated 
in past with that mindset so I don't need anymore do you have any tips for upcoming senior high school students? I get this question a lot. In general, the main tip that I'll be giving you is don't buy a lot of notebooks. I remembered I bought a lot of notebooks before but I never used any of those. I only used like those Cattleya fillers, filler notebooks, and binders. I suggest you buy binders na lang instead of fillers because sometimes those fillers don't even fill up with notes. The first 10 senior high school students naman, I think, if you're gonna ask me, I always get this question, is STEM hard? Yes, it's hard. All st strands, tracks, I, I still don't know the difference of those words, but all of those are hard because it depends on the student. If you excel on math, science, I don't think that you'll find STEM hard. But the whole personally, I find it hard because I am dumb at math. Although I love science, I like biology. Biology is my favorite subject. That's why I did not struggle in biology, but I struggled in physics because, yeah. So I think it's different for student. Another tip is to enjoy your senior high school life because basically we're all the same lab rats. <laughs> I mean, I think up until now, this senior high school thing is the experimental uh, I'm not really sure if it's effective because there's according to our uppers there's some subjects that we already took in senior high school that we will still take in college and it's redundant so major sayang yung subjects just the last question last question is what is your opinion on online classes so I think online classes is only for the privileged it's very anti-poor because first of all internet connection data connection is expensive owning a phone owning a laptop is expensive obviously they cannot go to computer shops because of what's happening so I think that online classes should not be pushed through so unless the government is willing to give every student Wi-Fi connection, free Wi-Fi connection, and free tablets, or gadgets to use, then go. But as the moment, I don't think they'll be doing it. So, no. So, uh, that's it for this Q&A. So, before I end this video, i just like to mention that I'll be leaving links down in the description box on card cards so that you understand what's happening in our society right now especially the injustices that we're facing both internationally and locally so yeah if you guys have spare money to donate feel free to donate on the donation drives also if you wanna um, have a discussion with me in regards to these topics I'd love to uh, and hopefully educate some of you on what's happening so yeah thank you so much for watching and hope you guys are safe goodbye